both liquids as well as gases they are treated and pressure expressed by 1 mm column of mercury is 1 torr what is liquid pressure thirst divided by unit area now a very very important derivation often asked for 5 marks hello students this is sd sir from the temple of excellence vidyashram pre university mysore in my previous session we have completely discussed the mechanical properties of solids or i can precisely say elastic properties of solids in my today's session we will try to understand the mechanical properties of fluids therefore the first question that has to be answered is what actually is a fluid because i am trying to understand the nature of fluids properties of fluids applications of certain laws on fluids maybe viscosity maybe surface tension applications of pascal's law applications of bernoulli's theorem so in order to understand these key points i need to know what actually is a fluid so the first attempt i make here is to know what is a fluid flu in simplest understanding a fluid is a substance that can flow fluids they flow so any substance that can flow is called as a fluid which includes both liquids and gases see somewhere except solids both liquids as well as gases they are treated as fluids many of us do not know the notion of gas being called as a fluid then how is a liquid different from a gas a liquid has quite number of denotions differences with a gas for example a liquid has a definite size but no definite shape alwa a liquid that is filled inside a conductor will always have a definite size but no definite shape we have always been taught that a liquid will take the shape of a container whereas a gas has neither definite size 
nor definite shape. So the basic mechanical or I can say physical difference between a liquid and a gas is liquid has definite size but it takes the shape of the container in which it is filled whereas the gas neither has a definite size nor a definite shape and more importantly a liquid is nearly compressible a gas is highly compressible an ideal fluid or a liquid like water you cannot compress the molecule of a water but the molecule of a gas can be highly compressed so please do understand any state of matter which can flow is a fluid ideally liquids and gases both of them are treated to be fluids how do they differ liquids have definite size but no definite shape they take the shape of the container fluids a gas has neither definite size nor definite shape whereas the liquid is nearly compressible difficult to be compressed Whereas the gas is highly compressible. Now, the net force, very important, the net force exerted by a liquid at rest, the net force exerted by a liquid at rest on any surface in contact with it is called thrust of the liquid so for example if you have a container and this is the liquid the liquid will always exert an upward force an upward force on the surface in contact with it you call that to be tangential upward force and the thrust exerted by a liquid at rest per unit of the surface is called liquid pressure you know pressure is force divided by unit area what is liquid pressure thrust divided by unit area what is thrust it is the upward force exerted by a liquid which is at rest on the surface in contact with it so the force exerted by a liquid on the surface in contact with it is always called thrust upward thrust and the thrust per unit area is called liquid pressure 
Now let us try to understand the units of pressure. All of us know pressure. This is liquid pressure. I am talking about thrust by unit area. This thrust is a type of force. So it is force divided by unit area. And the SI unit of pressure now is force divided by meter square. F divided by A, Newton meter minus 2. So the SI unit of force is Newton meter minus 2, which is Pascal. And therefore, 1 Pascal is equal to 1 Newton meter minus 2. So the basic definition of liquid pressure is thrust divided by unit area. Thrust is a type of upward force divided by area. So the unit of pressure is Newton meter minus 2 which is also called Pascal or 1 Pascal is 1 Newton meter minus 2. Now, atmospheric pressure. So now, I talk about atmospheric pressure which is expressed in centimeter or millimeter column of mercury. Very important, atmospheric pressure, not liquid pressure. Atmospheric pressure is expressed in centimeters or millimeter column of mercury in the atmosphere. Even blood pressure, BP, is expressed in terms of millimeter of mercury and the pressure exerted by one millimeter of mercury is torr. So one bar is 10 to the power 5 pascal. Liquid pressure expressed in terms of Pascal, where one Pascal is one Newton meter minus two. Atmospheric pressure expressed in centimeter or millimeter column of mercury. Blood pressure is also expressed in millimeter of mercury and pressure expressed by one millimeter column of mercury is one tor. Huh. Now a very, very important derivation often asked for five marks. A classical derivation pressure at a point due to a liquid. Now, there is a liquid which is filled in a container to a height h. One the container in Tegad Kondidini I have filled some liquid within the container to the height h. 
एंड ये इज द क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया सो लिक्विड इज फिल्ड इन अ कंटेनर टू द हाइट हेच एंड ए इज द क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया टू बिगिन विथ what is the force acting on the fluid here it is nothing but the downward force which is mg so we write here force acting on the liquid is mass of the liquid into g weight m into g downward force acting on any body is equal to its weight so the force acting on the liquid is the downward force which is the mass of the liquid into g where g is acceleration due to gravity now this mass can be written as volume into density because density is mass by volume so we know rho is m by v so mass of the liquid is volume into density into g volume again a into l area of the base into height density into g therefore we get f is rho g h into a now we know pressure is force by area liquid pressure is force divided by area so force is rho g h by a this is area of cross section so rho g h which means at any point at a depth h below the surface of a liquid pressure exerted is always written as p equals rho g h so always remember pressure exerted by a liquid certain depth in a container is rho g h so students what were fluids anything which flows a liquid and a gas liquid has a definite size no definite shape it is lightly compressible gas has no size no shape highly compressible and what was thrust upward force exerted by a liquid which was at rest is called thrust liquid pressure is thrust by area which is denoted by pascal atmospheric pressure blood pressure measured in terms of 1 cm or 1 mm column of mercury which is 1 torr and finally pressure exerted by a liquid on the base of a container is rho g h in my tomorrow's class i come up with more beautiful concepts like pascal's law and its application until then have a nice time thank you